tea parties out there who think you're fighting for you know whatever country you think you represent by by pushing uh pushing this this political program and the, and the people behind it are, are sarah palin and glenn beck and these types these racist fascists and you think you're fighting tyranny um and you think you're, you're standing for the, for the legacy of resistance in this country i just urge you to to read your American history and, and read about some of the heroes who came before and read about uh, what Thomas Paine was really about. Read about Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman and Sojourner Truth and Mother Jones and all these people that, that fought to better this country against tyranny. Um, time and time again, this reoccurring figure, Martin Luther King, you know, like you name it, um, these people of all colors, of all genders who fought to make this country the place that it is today with all the oppression that we have today and all the injustice that we have. Uh, we also do have uh, justice um, in, in, in small pockets and that justice exists because of those people and the, and the struggles that they represented and spoke for uh, and the people who've always run this country uh, overwhelmingly have been trying to stifle that 
uh, and, and I, the, the Thomas Jeffersons and the George Washingtons and the Richard Nixons and the George Bushes uh, and the Ronald Reagans and all these people, They're, they didn't push for justice in this country. They didn't free people. They, they fought a multi-hundred year legacy in this country of trying to take freedom and liberty away from people. Um, and we need to expand the definition of liberty from this narrow definition um, that a lot of the leaders of the Tea Party push, uh, which is the freedom to, to do what one wants. Um, and we need to also look at the freedom that, that people like Martin Luther King talked about, um, the collective freedom, the freedom uh, both to do what one wants within limits, um, the freedom to go to the same cafe as other people, the freedom to the same uh, amount of political expression, but also the freedom from oppression, the freedom from harassment, the freedom from racism and sexism and homophobia and all these things that people have struggled for. That's freedom too. Uh, and, and just having the freedom to do something without the freedom from having something done to you uh, is a great injustice. Um, and and it, it does not, uh, it's not a good recipe for this country or any country or any land with people on it. Um, so I urge you Tea Party types, uh, especially you younger ones and, and, and lower ranks and stuff, really think about these things because um, a lot of the things that you say make sense and a lot of things that you say or represent don't make any sense or they make sense and they're uh, unjust and they're racist uh, and it's you know when a bunch of white people get on TV and talk about taking the country back um, <laughs> people like me and a lot of people in this country uh, don't, don't get a very good image in our head when we see that um, and there's a great struggle needed in this country and there's a lot of freedom that we need to gain uh, and there's a lot of injustice being done uh, to common people by corporations and by politicians and we need to make sure that we understand that problem correctly and not incorrectly because if we think that that uh, you know freeing up uh, the economy um, from the pressures of the government and allowing corporations to, to, to utilize it to the full extent that they want to um, we're not correctly analyzing the situation and if we think that the problem is is, is people trying to get a couple of dollars from the government so that they can afford health care um, or they can afford food, um, or they can afford to sell their crops. Um, if we think that that that's the problem, we're we're incorrectly analyzing the situation. The problem is not the welfare of, of the common person. The problem is the welfare of the corporation and the military budget. Um, so think about these things, and um, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can learn collectively from it.